Hi, and welcome to Sumo Logic Quick Start Tutorials. Today, we're going to look at installing a collector on Linux. So to start, if you've never installed a collector in your system before, you'll see this screen. So let's click on Next, and we'll get to choose two types of collectors, installed and hosted. Installed are the type of collector that you put on servers, so we're going to choose that option. And here we can see all of the different options for collectors. So we're going to download the 64-bit Linux for who has that is what I need in this case. Now the first thing we need to do is make sure that the installer is executable. So we do that by running change mod 744 and sumo collector. Now that is executable. Let's run it. So let's press OK to start this installation. Now this is the default installation directory, OpSumo Collector. We can also install it in a different directory, but I'm going to keep the default in this case. Now we get to choose the name of the collector. In this case, it defaulted to the host name. So I'm going to keep that, but you could also give it a custom name. You can also choose to set up the default sources, in this case, the operating system logs, var log messages and var log secure. I'm going to go ahead and do that so I have some data. Next, we need to put in our credentials. I put in my password. At this point, it registered itself with the SumoLogic service using my username and password and it's activated. So if I go to next, we are finished. So I haven't seen any data yet from this particular collector. So let's go set up some additional sources. I also want to set up my Apache sources. Now, don't put anything in the source host field unless you want to override the default host name of the system that you're taking the log from. So in this case, I'm going to leave it blank. And next, with the source category, this is a very good way of searching across logs from multiple different systems and giving them the same source category. What we use here as the default is we call it, for example, the platform name and then the particular log name, so Apache slash access. Next. I need to make sure that I set up with the right time zone. If I don't set up with the right time zone, some of the logs may look like they're coming in the future or the past. So in this case, I'm going to set up as UTC because the Apache logs don't have the time zone within them. So I need to make sure that I set that. I'm also going to set up the Apache error log. Set the time zone. And notice I also set the source category to Apache slash error, so I can differentiate it from Apache slash access. Okay, so now we have across the entire system. So let's go look at our status. And here we can see that we've already ingested some data from this collector. So thanks for watching this tutorial today. And please check out the rest of our tutorials so you can learn how to search and create dashboards and other things for your data. Thank you.